Hey, this is Jonesy from uh, Jonester TV coming at you with a review for the Arrow Season 5 premiere entitled Legacy. And as much as I enjoyed Season 4 despite the finale being pretty bad and a lot of the plot being different, it seemed to keep my interest throughout the whole entire season. At least it kept me going forward. There were episodes that were down, there were episodes that were up, and there were problems for sure. Uh, and the writing wasn't exactly on par with Seasons 1 and 2, but... I came into season five with high expectations, and I gotta say, I was a little bit let down. Uh, I expected the season to open like really, really um, energetically, a lot of action, a lot of different things, and I got some of the same old, same old character drama that bogged down the previous two seasons with with um, Thea Queen sort of saying, "Oh, I can't be the Red Arrow." And all that, while I understand that point, it seems sort of stupid. And I did like the villain. I did like Church, the gangster this this episode. He seemed to be sort of charismatic and um, cool. And the new vigilante seemed cool at the end of the episode that, of course, Oliver's probably going to fight him for the main villain. But there was nothing really in the premiere that really could grab me like this season for opening and I really think that was a negative part of this episode. But there were good points, and let's talk about those real quick, too. Uh, the fight scenes were all stylish and well done. Um, the dialogue between Paul Blackthorne and Stephen Amell, Oliver Queen, and uh, Quentin Lance was great. And the whole theme of Laurel's legacy was great to be put in there. There were some cool action sequences as well, like uh, just as far as the police officers working with him and... Oliver being kidnapped was an interesting thing, but it's not like we haven't seen that before. But really what Arrow Season 5 needs to do for me is it needs to set itself apart from the other seasons while still maintaining that feel. And I feel like this episode wasn't sure of itself. It wasn't sure if it should go in a new direction or an old direction. or and it, it didn't have a unique tone like Season 1. The tone was uh, dark, rooting, Oliver's killing people because he's avenging his father. Season 2... You had this whole arc with Slade Wilson. You're taking down Slade. Uh, Slade, it's, it's sort of a redemption arc. While Oliver was redeemed, Slade in the end became a horrible person and a horrible murderer. The events shaped people different ways. Season 3, it was it was there a little bit, but it was more of a theme of uh, trust and should you go behind your friend's backs just to defeat a villain and uh, preventing... And the prevention of becoming something you hate. And then season four was the idea of, of course, the lightness and the dark. Well, this season, I couldn't pull a theme out of the premiere. I really couldn't. But I did enjoy this episode. I just think it was a little bit more hollow, and they need to sort of get that feel back. And they'll probably do it, as Arrow usually picks up pretty quickly. But I would have to give this episode an 8.0 out of 10. And... Uh, I enjoyed it, but at the same time, they need to do more, honestly. Uh, but it was a good enough. It was a fair episode of Arrows, entertaining. But there's a lot of things they need to start doing better, and hopefully they do. I'm hoping the season turns around the series. I really like did like seasons one and two, hated three, and four was decent. But if they really want to turn the show around, they're gonna have to get a special vibe for this season. So it doesn't just seem like they're repeating material. The Bratva scenes, by the way, were um, pretty great, too. They were way better than the flashbacks last year already. Uh, but again, I'd give it an 8.0 out of 10. Uh, Arrow Season 5, Episode 1, Legacy. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Remember to like and subscribe. This has been Jonesy from Jonesy TV, signing off.